Welcome back, eh? This is the Canadian Silver Seeker, and I hope you guys are having another great day like I am. I just got back from my weekly LCS trip, and if you've been watching my channel, you know that I am basically done collecting silver dollars at the moment. I have uh, one more, or actually two more, same variation, twice on its way from SGB. But, this week, I stopped at my LCS, and I started on my new goal for 2024. I picked myself up $5.50, actually, of 80% silver in 25 cent pieces. And I did this because I already had 450, and that will help me finish a roll. Uh, basically, I've decided, you know, the next thing I'll be stacking a lot of now, being that I'm done collecting my silver dollars, is going to be this 80% silver. It's going to take me a while to fill this bag. As you can see here, this is a huge bag. $1,000 at 25 cent pieces. And this is an original Royal Canadian Mint bag. Um, basically, um, at, I'm basically looking at uh, collecting about $5 of 80% silver every week. Um, and doing that, uh, $5 of 80% silver every week, it's going to take me over three years to fill this bag. So, not going to be a quick goal. Um, it's going to be an ongoing one. And if I, you know, veer off and buy something else from time to time... Uh, to keep things interesting, well, that's just what's going to happen, undoubtedly. Um, what can I tell you about 80% silver? 80% um, silver. So, like I said, um, I do have a dime bag as well. It's also $1,000, but I'm going to focus on the 25 cent pieces first. Um, each one of these 25 cent pieces has 0.15 um, actual silver weight. So 0.15 of an ounce of actual silver weight. What that means is $1 of 80% silver is always going to equal approximately 0.6 of an ounce. So if you get five dollars of 80 percent silver that will be three ounces of silver ten dollars six ounces of silver and the unique thing about this in canada i know it's a little different for you guys in the states but it doesn't matter whether i have one dollar of quarters whether i have one dollar in 50 cent pieces if I can get my camera to focus on those there for you, two slightly different versions. Doesn't matter whether I have one dollar and fifty cent pieces, that's 0.6 of an ounce. Doesn't matter whether I have one dollar and quarters of 80% pieces, that's 0.6 of an ounce. Doesn't matter whether I have 10 dimes at 80% silver, that is 0.6 of an ounce. Or an 80% silver dollar. That is 0.6 of an ounce. So that also means that one fifty cent piece and two quarters is 0.6 of an ounce. Or two quarters and five dimes is 0.6 of an ounce. So it is very easy to uh, basically substitute these as long as you have a dollar value you know basically what you're going to get 150 cent piece and five dimes 0.6 of an ounce so basically filling up this bag is going to give me 600 troy ounces of silver that's going to take a while obviously that's going to be a huge premium at 30 dollars an ounce cad or canadian dollars that is eighteen thousand dollars right there um, in canada you do have to pay tax on 80 percent silver where you don't on pure bullion um, so just keep that in mind 
The one thing is you can sell a good portion of your 80% silver in Canada from what I understand at my LCS. I'm going to be talking to him more about this. But you can sell a good portion of 80% silver without the government having to get their nose in it. I can take this bag in and I could sell it to my LCS and he doesn't have to really take down a lot of my personal information or share that word with the government. Whereas if I sell a bunch of pure silver or even one ounce of pure gold, well, he has to take down my personal information and he has to share that sale with the Canadian government. So not that that's a huge deal. All of my silver comes from my, you know, the profit that I get off of working so and it all comes out of my own bank account so it's not a big deal but I don't know I always like just the idea of being able to sell something and not having to worry about you know someone else's nose in it trying to make a profit um, what else can I say about this um, very very lofty goal I know there's something that I've forgotten here. Oh, that's what I was going to talk about. So, 80% silver. 80% silver in Canada starts in 1920, would be the first quarter made out of 80% silver. And it goes all the way to 1967. The camera's having... An, issue focusing today not that this is our the nicest coins by any means but yeah 80 percent silver for dimes and quarters go from 1920 all the way to 1967 i like to say 1966 because if you have a bobcat quarter or a mackerel dime i don't have a bobcat bobcat quarter in front of me but if you have a mackerel dime for instance like this from the centennial year of 1967 this guy is likely 50 percent silver and not 80 percent silver they made two different versions of the bobcat quarter and the mackerel dime in 1967 and only the ones in proof sets were 80 percent silver so unless you take the dime or quarter directly out of a proof set I basically consider them to be 50%. If you find it at all in circulation, um, it is a chance that it has been pro pulled from a proof set and put into circulation, but there's no way of telling it for sure. And so I consider all of them from 1967, all quarters and all dimes, if they don't come directly from a proof set, I consider them to be 50% silver and not 80% silver. So basically what that means is 1920 to 1966, if you got a quarter or dime in Canadian uh, currency, you have 80% silver. If it's 1967 or 1968, I would consider it to be 50% silver. I know some dealers do do a uh, average between 80% and 50% because it could be either. I do not put... Um, I had one, I had a couple in here just so that I could make a quick stack of 10 so I didn't have to break open a roll of dimes. Um, just so I could show you guys the different denominations and how they are all 60% silver. But these uh, two mackerel dimes that I actually have here, I consider these to be 50% silver and I do not put them in my 80% stack. Um, I put them into their own 50% silver stack and yeah that's just how I roll some people don't but I keep them separate if it's 67 or 68 it's 50% silver and it goes in its own stack separate from the 80% what else can I say 600 ounces I worked this out in a calculator and online 600 troy ounces is over 41 pounds of silver. Um, that is a very, very lofty goal. Like I say, it's going to take me well over three years to get there. Um, but hey, it's a long journey. I'm not into 
stacking it all at once. I don't have that money, obviously, and a lot of us don't. So a little bit at a time is just fine. If I go a week or two or I don't buy $5 because I can't, you know, afford the premiums of the silver, that's okay too. I'm not going to be heartbroken if in the end I only put $500 into this bag rather than a thousand. It is, like I say, just a lofty goal. Um, it's going to happen over many, many years. And hey, life goes on. There's going to be other things. There's going to be other bills that I do have to pay. Anyways, thanks for listening to me ramble. I can fill up this new tube of 80% quarters and put it into my bag. I don't even have $100 in there yet. So I believe this is going to now be the $40 that's going to be into this bag. So I got a very, very long way to go. But I look forward to sharing that journey with you guys. And like I said again, thanks for listening to me ramble. Remember, it doesn't cost you a single piece of silver or gold to like and subscribe. You guys mean the world to me. Happy stacking, eh?